Who is that? Is it not your voice, Arjuna? It's a strange voice. Just hold on for me. I will soon be back. Just a few minutes. John again? Let them go. Let them go. He is the price of yesterday's peace. Go away. Send them out. Send them out. John, what are you doing here? Pity my son small, and leave please, just leave, please. I silence that bad spirit by the prophetic in the name of Jesus Christ. I want water, give me water, dad, mum, what's the problem? I need to take my leave, sorry for my disobedience. Brother John, don't leave me, I love you so much. Philip. I love you too, but your parents don't want me in your house. I only came back to silence the mouth of that noise maker disturbing the whole neighborhood. I need to leave. Which noise maker? Ask your parents. Good day. Brother John, don't leave me. I need you. Philip, you know what? I am making a promise to you. I will always come back to check on you, but I need to leave. We need the prophetic. The prophetic only answers to those who are tired of their situation and ready for a change, not to those who are satisfied being in bondage. John, this matter is beyond bondage. But it's not beyond God. Philip is my only son, my first and only son. I have an elder brother who is also my father's first son. This entire problem happens to the first sons in my family. They always suffer convulsions and sickness that will not allow them to make a headway in their life. But did you hear what the voice said? I mean the voice that spoke through Philip? He said, he is the price of yesterday's peace. Do you know what that means? That's the first time I have heard that. I don't understand. You will understand, you will understand very soon. When someone refuses to be a price for someone's peace, it means trouble will begin to look on the offenders. Ah, this is serious, so what do you advise us? You and your wife, the two of you, you must first of all be tired of situations and be ready for a change. We are ready. But Philip is my only son, I don't want him to die. You see, Philip will not die, you must first of all ignore the roaring and ranting of lions and pray too. And brother Mike, that third room, that room must be opened. No! The rooms that my father himself did not open till he was buried there. And when you die too, you will be buried there? Brother John. This is the little I can say about the whole situation. But the way you commanded that spirit and it obeyed you, I was shocked. You can command it too, if you believe because, if you don't take dominion over it, it will take dominion over you. But this is how it has always been. But this is not the way it must always be, I guess that's why I have not been able to get a job. Ah, you can't get a job. Really? Can't you see how scanty the whole place is? It's as if there is no one living there. I can't get a job, how do you mean brother Mike? Anyone who lives in this house, struggles even if they have a business it will crumble. No one lives here and make a headway in life. And you are still living in it? I have to as the last born of my fathers. Ah, the devil is a bastard. A bastard. And is your wife, is she aware of the situation? She doesn't know much, she just knows that the room is not accessible. Kai, this is a serious matter. My sister, you need to take charge as a woman. You shouldn't be satisfied with all these happenings around you. I am not satisfied, I have done a lot to see to the situation of this problem, but it's not working. No, you haven't done anything if you have not prayed, this is a serious spiritual matter. We have fasted a lot, prayed a lot, visited many mountains fasted so many times, all to no avail. I'm tired. Ooh, I see, I see the problem now. It's just that you are deceiving yourself, I mean why move to the mountain when the mountains are in this house? How did you mean ma'am? The third room, the third room must be opened. That's very difficult because that door cannot be opened. Are you sure? I feel you can pray here and God will answer, let us stay here. Exactly. Opening a room that has been locked for over 200 years, not knowing what is there is dangerous. We take authority over every kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ, 
we carry the presence of the Lord as we enter into this room in the name of Jesus Christ. Brother Mike, your faith has been too strong now as I'm about to enter this room. John Waitel, what are you trying to do now? To break the door? See we are praying here, because we are praying to God, and this our God that we are praying to, is God of the Spirit, God is Spirit, therefore when we pray here, the arrows will enter into that room, when it comes to this our God, no boundary is no limit, John. We are praying here. You all must help my faith, all these faces I'm seeing will not help me. If you know you don't have the same faith I carry, you can leave as well, we have to enter. I enter into this room in God's power and carry God's presence and God's authority. I dwell in these shadows and feathers as I go into this room in the night name of Jesus. Brother John, calm down, take it easy, please. Ha! Boy, how dare you enter into an altar that has been in existence before your grandfather was born? What effrontery! I'm sorry, I'm very very sorry. I promise not to disturb your peace again, I promise not to cause trouble anymore. Please let me go please, I will leave this house. We will leave this house. It's too late. The game is over. You have come to research what is capable of killing you and you shall die. Who are you? What's your name? I am the Keeper, I keep the covenant of the altar and I kill whoever breaks my covenant. Which covenant? Which altar? This covenant is over 200 years old, it has been functioning for 200 years, and you came to destroy all of that? How old are you? Age doesn't matter. Age is a number. It's the power of God that one carries, that gives maturity and stamina. A five-year-old in Christ can destroy an altar of 500 years at the snap of the finger. Are you alright? The foundation of this building is sacrificed with the Spirit to make all the glories and goodness of men revert to their benefactors their firstborn were negotiated as exchange. Their bodies must be buried by certain men, and their heads must be cut off, and you came to destroy all of that? How do you know my mission? Fool. I am not a man like you. I am a spirit. Oh, you are a single dimension, but I am of a double dimension, I am both man and spirit. A double dimensional creature. What did you mean? I am of the earth, sand and dust makes me a man but the breath of God on me makes me come alive, and that makes me a spirit. So I can switch to other dimensions and so, activate my spiritual dimension, and communicate as a spirit to spirit. Are you hearing anything? John. John. Ah. John is locked up. I warned you, people, in fact, am I, not a Christian? Am Christian also, but this is a serious situation you need bishops and prophets to deal with that. This is beyond us. My son, Lord please deliver my son. Brother John, I know he will come out of this place safe and sound in Jesus' name. I believe the Lord will bring you out in Jesus' mama. John Mother. Jude and his prayer partners are all outside praying hard for John to come out safe with victory. So you mean, you are spirit now? You may now begin to hear the language of the spirit and I don't hope, you will understand. Then let me ask a question. Since you are now a spirit, when did altars begin and who pioneered them? If you know, then you shall live. I don't know altars beginning, neither do I know the pioneers, but I know the one who created all things out of nothing. If you know then tell me. Do you know the head of principalities and powers who commissioned altars alive? If you know then you shall live. I don't know, but I know that whatever you are keeping can be destroyed because I know a man who was sent to destroy the works of the devil. So if you know him, then tell me. Who is that? I don't know him. His name is Jesus. New no group of exclamation marks. What happened to that lamp? Ah, is that not in Redward's altars? Go bring that lamp. What is happening to this lamp? Who is trying to destroy this altar? Who is quenching this lamp? You are a liar. Where is my demonic anointing? You can see, 
The fire is reawakened. It glows more. I just strengthened this lamp. This altar has been reloaded. Reinforcements have occurred. My eyes are now placed on this altar. This is what happens when an evil altar is not successfully destroyed. Ha! Uh, is that all? We have been attended at the headquarters, and the fire you quenched has been rekindled. Every demonic anointing re-established altar in this family and my life is destroyed and is brought into null and void in the name of Jesus. No! Not again! What is happening to this altar? What is happening to this lamp? What is happening to my demonic anointing? Satan agents trying to rekindle the lamp again but it doesn't work. Rekindle the fire. Rekindle the fire. Who are you? Oh my god. Wow. You are dead. You are already dead. You are joking. It's only someone alive that can bring someone to death. It's only someone alive that can kill. You are a dead man. So, therefore, you cannot kill. Jesus has won the battle. The game is over. Come here, I summoned you. You again? Ah, what happened? Why are you here? Your altars have been destroyed. But we reconnected to another altar in the house where we were living when you drove us out of our house. My lord, you see we tried our best. We even engaged another foundational altar, but they will not rest. What's your problem? I don't have a problem. The problem I have is that I am light, and any time I find myself in darkness, darkness disappears, I am light. What did you want from me? I should be the one asking you that question, because you sent for me. You summoned me here. That was a mistake. Go. Francis, it's better you die before you find light from these people. My lord, please. At least you will be with us in hell. Ah, please my lord. Please, let your people prepare for your burial. Please my lord, pity me. I don't have pity and I don't forgive. Because of this, you will die due to high blood pressure overnight. Hallelujah. Jesus has won the battle. The siege is over. Hallelujah. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing but the flesh is weak. Brother John, I hope you are fine. I don't know when I sleep. Are you okay? God is faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Indeed God is faithful. You're going to shout this loud and clear, powers of the open grave waiting for my arrival be destroyed, turn into prayers. Uncle Mike, what's happening here? And who is this person? They're my tenants in this house. Uncle Mike, two of your uncles died this morning, Uncle Francis and Uncle Eric are dead. What happened? Ah, who broke and opened this door? Jesus did, Jesus came with us entered through us, and broke the door, Jesus gave us access. Uncle Mike, did you know the implications of this? Do you know what this can cause? I'm afraid you will die soon. God forbid, he will not die in Jesus' name, he shall live. Amen. Shut up the mouth, what do you know? Uncle Mike two of your uncles died and I don't know the next person and I'm afraid maybe you will be next. John am I going to die? John, bro. Mike. Never mind be strong and be courageous. You see, some people will still die yes, because people who will not allow us to live a life of peace, must die. We are going to pray. Every unrepentant evil man or woman putting my life and strongholds die now, turn into prayers. In Jesus name, we pray. That prayers will go this way. Every unrepentant every man of woman, that must die for me to have peace, let them for now, 
command them to die now, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Bro Mike, do you remember this voice that spoke to Philip your son? He said, he is the price of yesterday's peace. We are going to pray. Anyone using my life as a prize for yesterday's peace be destroyed, turn into prayers. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God gives honor to legal grounds, but if you don't take charge and dominion, even as a genuine Christian, you can still suffer. Because altars are real, but Jesus is alive. Amen. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law, he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters, that brings forth its fruits in the season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. Philip, what's it again? I thought this was over. I don't understand oh dear please, just call bro John. Bro John, what's happening again? I thought it all over? For God's sake. Have you applied for any first aid? First aid no, this is not a first aid matter. I mean the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is the first aid to any spiritually emergency. Philip be still in Jesus name. Oh my god I thought it was all over after you broke the room John. We are disturbed, brother John. Brother John, I am a child of God, I pray, I fast, what's it again? I don't know, after all that needed to be done had been done and a problem keeps persisting like this. It's a common issue with everybody. But I thought, we have destroyed all the altars, why is this happening again? There is always something fishy about altars. There are still some hidden things about this issue of altars. I think we need to pray for more divine revelations, like heavenly divine mysteries, and I guess that's why we are here. My God, we will move again. Altars have been destroyed but still, Philip is not free from this demonic attack. What happened? Watch out for the next part. Be blessed. Please if you have not accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Now is the time for salvation. Kindly pray this prayers with me. Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God, that you died on the cross to rescue me from sin and death and to restore me to the Father. I choose now to turn from my sins, my self-centeredness, and every part of my life that does not please you. I choose you. I give myself to you. Amen. God bless you for making this good choice today. Now walk as light of darkness and don't go back to your vomit. Please wait. 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 Don't go show me some love now. If you're blessed with this video kindly do your best to subscribe the channel for more, likes and also share the link to bless others to sow a seed into this ministry for bundle to upload spiritual and revival videos please you can do it only this number 0 531 million 769 thousand 689 name is Michael Soa or send it through this bank account 611 1017835 GCB bank and the name is Michael Soa God bless you for supporting the work of God